Hello, can you hear me? Hello. <laughs> yes, I can hear you. Can you share your screen? Okay. Okay, okay, okay let me. Uh, sorry, you have disabled the uh, screen share. Oh, okay, let me adjust that. Uh, I think the last time that was on the settings. Okay, hold on, give me a sec. Yeah. Okay, it's under security. Yeah, it's it's open now, try again. Okay, let me try and share. Sorry, let me open the... Yeah, I can see it. Okay. Hold on, let me check, take a look at your code quickly. This this particular one. Uh, can you hear me? Uh, okay, sorry, I'm looking for the... Yeah? Let me just take a look at your code for a while. Just, just a sec. Okay, scroll down, go down. Slide down a bit. Hello? Hello? This is yeah. the code. Can you see it? Yes, I can. Can you see it now? Yes, yes, I can. Can you slide down? Yeah. Yes, yeah, slide down. Down. Yeah. There is no way. Uh, I can't see you sliding. Like, sorry. Click on that share. You see, it pop up. It will bring a dialog that has like several screens, so that you know the one you're sharing. Can you okay. hear me? Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I can hear you. Can you see the screen you're sharing? Can you see it now? I can see the code, yes. Can you see it? Yes, I can see the code. You can see the code? Yes. Okay. Can you use uh, this is the code? Yeah. To read a number from a serial monitor. Yes. You see? I can see it, yes. Can you so now I slide down a bit? Now if I run this hold on, chill. Can you slide, slide down? Slide down. Yes, I don't see the whole code. The old code. This yeah. is the old code now. This is everything. This is everything. Yes, but I can see your slider. Like it's the, the one I sent to you. The one I sent. Sorry, the, the one I'm seeing here is okay. deck 04A. Yes, that's one on screen currently. Zero. Sketch deck 04A. A. Zero. Do you know the screen? You can't see the reading number. Yes, that, oh. yes. Click Can on, you see this one now? Click on share. No. Eh? Click on share. Like go to the options in Zoom. You see a share button there, like a okay. share option there. Click there. You see a dialog. It will tell you what screen you're okay, sharing. Seen. Yeah. Yeah. Can I see it now? Yes, I can see it now. <laughs> That's much better. Sorry, no, this is my first time I was sharing. This is my first time I was sharing screen. So I, I don't know much about it. No, it's cool. Okay, let me see. Explain your code. Now you can see you can see. Yes. So explain your code. I'm listening. No, this yeah, read number from the serial monitor. Yeah. So like on the serial monitor, once I run the code, I will I will I will input the number that I want to maybe the number of time I want the thing to blink. If it is four times, I put four. It should blink four times. Do you understand? Yes. So now, if I should run this code and compile it, then I put, then I will put it in the protos. It will not work. Okay. Now, can you start from the bottom, like from the top, from line zero? Line zero. Yes. So you have okay. you declare an integer j. What does the integer j do? It's a counter. Use it to, yeah, counter. 
So name is of a counter now. Why do you put J there? Yeah. Put it name change the name to a counter. Okay. Okay. It's easier that way. So that you don't have to bust your head to know that that's what it stands for. Okay. okay. So new number of blinks and then string the message. Okay, I've done that. Okay, what's the J? J, you forgot one there. Yeah? Yeah, there. Okay. Okay. So that's your string. Um, yeah. A message, how many blinks? And then your red pin is seven, right? Yes, yes, seven. Okay. So serial dot begin one nine two hundred. That's your board rate, and pin mode yes. red pin output. Then you have your void loop. Um, can you, let me start with it. This is serial dot print line. That's print print out message, and then while serial why yeah. serial serial is not available, you loop, and then you have a new blink. Um, and then you pass the integer from the serial monitor into it. Yes. And then it runs the counter. And the for loop there. And the for loop starts yeah. from one and increases until it's less than number of links. Number of links. Yes. That's uh -huh. clearly the number of the number of links there. Yes. Okay. Hello, and that runs forever till. Yeah. yeah yeah it runs until the this thing is uh so maybe out of loop okay let me see oh yeah mm, okay try run compile it and let's see what happens in proteus Are you new to programming or you've been doing it on a long, in a long language? Yeah. Are you new to Proteus or you have been doing it before? Like, are you new to programming? No, no not really. Mm, what do you do? What I've language? been doing this uh, yeah, I've been doing it for some time now, Sha. Using what language? Yeah. Using what language? C. Okay, you've been, C, C. you've been dealing with Arduino for a while now. Uh, let me say last month, yeah, or two, a month or two, yeah. Mm, I've not been consistent. Just now that I just like going to it like that. No, no, you don't need to do that. Hold on, you don't need to do that. I see what you're doing. Hold on, you don't need to do that. Okay. You know where this file, this this um code is saved. Okay, let me like choose Rabi. No sketch. Sketch. Okay, yeah. Yes. It's easier. It's what? Yeah. Eh? Yes. Yeah, there you go. Okay. okay, now let me share my uh my let me open my proteus. Uh, you know I can't see that screen, right? Uh, sure, I will share. I will share the screen. Okay. Sorry, I'm still. Okay. I see it now. Yes, I can. Okay, double click on your serial monitor. Let me look. Okay, one nine eight hundred priority zero stop pick one. Okay, this has worked before. This sessions, this configuration, right? Eh? This configuration has worked before, right? You, mm, you it doesn't the, work. Have you used the serial monitor before? That's the, the board read, yeah. Have you used the serial monitor? 
have you used the yes on pro on, yeah yes in this place oh okay on the protus the factual terminal okay you've used it before and it worked perfectly right yeah it works okay that's why that time i used 19 uh, 9600 for the board rate so oh. i tried to use it here but it's not working so that, that's why i increase it okay let's have a go okay. sorry let me connect this wire very well um hold on i i think i see something there um switch swap the wires yeah swap the wires I delete the wire, draw another one, but just swap the position. Let the RX touch go to the TX and the TX to the RX. And I've done it now. Is that not the RX? It's going to RXD. Um, delete yeah, that this, wire. Yeah, delete Yeah, it. this RX. RX is zero. See it? Yes, delete the wire. I should delete the wire. RX. Yes. yes. Okay. You know, you press it. delete on your keyboard. Yes, delete the second one too. Okay. You can press it on your keyboard. It's shorter that way. So yeah? you could press it on your keyboard. It's shorter that way. Which other way? On your keyboard. Doesn't your keyboard have a delete button? A clip. Delete, delete. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. You can use that button too whenever you click on it on the wire. So connect the TXD to RXD. That's the one to RXD, yes. The, the one on the monitor, uh, on the factual monitor, Abi. It doesn't matter, just swap the two pins. Okay, the TXD to the, the RSD. Exactly. Yes, another one. Okay. okay. Double click on your um on your Arduino. Yeah. Okay. Go to where you exported your binaries. No, 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 not that. Not done. Okay, okay. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> this is it. Yes. You know, I did talk about the bootloader the other time. I'll explain it better in the future. Try running the simulation now. Yeah, there you go. Wow, it's working. So let me, but I want to input, uh, I want to press four. Okay. Okay, let me press. Wow, thank you, boss. Actually, you know what happened? I was connecting the RSD to the RSD on the Arduino board. Exactly. But is it the mistake from the Pro Tools or what could cause the mistake? Well, or is the, that disconnected? The communication protocol you're using here to connect your Arduino Uno to this serial monitor is called yeah. an USART. Okay. So in USART, when you're connecting two devices using USART, you connect the RXD pin to the TXD pin and the TXD pin to the RXD pin. So one is transmitting, one is receiving, the other one is trans is receiving, the other one is sending. You understand? So yeah. the, the, the TXD there is like transmitting, while the RXD is receiving. Receiving. Yes. Wow. But this is actually good, sure. But on the, as I have a physical board now, I have to call, I have to connect it the way it is. Yes, yes. Okay, wow. I really appreciate that. Thanks, boss. And so let me, let me put seven, maybe it will work. Seven, like, okay. I want to blink seven times. Okay. Sometimes, rather. Left click on your virtual terminal. I'll show you something. Yeah? 
Yes, left click on your virtual terminal. No, yes, the I other mean. one, the, the one that just came up the screen. Yeah. Okay. Echo typed character. Yes. So type in the number you wanted, you had in mind. Wow. Yeah, that's all right. Yes. Wow, it's working. Yeah. Bravo. Well done. This is excellent. Nice one, bro. Anytime I'm okay, I will get I will get back to you. Okay, let me have a look so at your want... code. I want you I want to see if you can make some few modifications. Share your screen okay. with code, yes. Okay, let me share my screen with you. Can you see it now? Yes, I can. Okay. I love your naming convention. It's it's cool. It's cool. Like the, your variables make a lot of sense. Your code is readable. And in this while, like when you go down, your loop, your void loop. Yeah. Uh, you see that while serial dots available. Now, there's a way you can write this that is way, that it's, <laughs> it's easier. So you see that blank um, curly bracket, the one that you left. Curly bracket. Um, yes. Call it bracket for the while loop. While loop yeah. Yes, you can remove yeah. it. Okay. The two. Yes. You don't really need Unless... it. Okay, put your semicolon. Okay, I'll remove it. Yeah, semicolon. Okay, and that equals to zero. That condition, checking condition of um, if this equals to zero, check, remove it out. I should move the yes. I should move one. Remove the boat. Okay. Yeah. No, all boat. of it. Yes. I should move boat. Yes. With the zero, right? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> okay. I can now go back to the beginning of your serial that's available. Yes. Yes. No, in front, yeah, right in front of it. The word serial. Yeah, serial, okay. Yes. Before the point at the, at the beginning. The at the beginning. At the beginning. Yes. Okay. Now put an exclamation mark there. Where is exclamation? No, that that's question mark. Exclamation. Okay, exclamation. Yes. Uh what is it? Okay. Yes, exactly. Now compile your code and run it again. Go to export binary sketch. No, no. Can you explain what that? Can you explain that to me? Or oh, later? Hold on. Go to sketch first. Compile it. Okay, no, no, no. Sketch. Yeah. Okay. Go back to Proteus. You have to switch the screen. I can't see it. Yeah, well, I'm doing that. Okay, so the thing is, um, when you showed Proteus your file directory, um, it kept record of where the program is stored. So don't you, need to, you don't need to double click on your microcontroller. Just run this animation, run this simulation again. Stop the currently ongoing one, then run this one. Run it again. But no, you know we've changed the code. Yes. Don't do that. Like, I need to put it again. No, you don't. Proteus. You don't. Oh, they are doing rather. No, you don't. Okay, it's, it is there automatically, I mean. Yeah, it's still the same part and the same name. So it will, it will just recognize it. Okay. So each time you run your simulation, it loads the whole program again. Okay, go to debug. You, I think you close the serial monitor window. Go to debug. Debug, debug. Right below your title bar. No, your time to bar like top of your screen. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. Debug. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Now go down to virtual terminal. That's the last option. Yes, click on that. Okay. Exactly. So to test it out. Oh. I think this thing has crashed. Wait, <laughs> let me. So 
Sorry, let me open it again. Oh, okay, it's okay. Sorry, looking for the Can you see it now? Yes, I can. Okay. Okay, try running. Let me run. There's no need. It loads the program all over again. I should run it or I should... uh, run it. Okay, okay. Now. Five times. Okay. Three, four, five. Wow. Yeah, there you go. So let me go back. To, go back to the code. Let me explain what we have done. Okay. And um, I, your your wiring is quite neat. I love your setup. It's neat. Um. Okay, so where did we edit? What are you confused about here? What do you want me to explain? Uh, I want to explain this, not this, uh, the uh, exclamation mark that we put there. Yes. You so know, you know, you... I, set, I set it to zero for it to wait. Yes. Yeah. So can you explain this? Okay, so serial does available returns zero if the serial monitor is not ready, right? If it's not ready to receive, isn't it? Yes. And it returns one if it is ready to receive. Uh, to receive. Hold on. Oh yes, yes. So that that is same. when you now put an exclamation mark. You are saying okay. What do you know the while loop execute when the condition inside is true? Isn't okay. it? So now supposing the yeah. serial the serial does available returns zero. Are you listening? I'm listening to you. And you take the... Hello? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, continue. And you put that exclamation yeah, mark right in front of that zero, right, right in front of the false condition, the serial dot available returns. You know, zero and false, they are, they are the same thing, really, when you're talking about um, Boolean values. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so... Zero. Yes. Exactly. So when you put the exclamation mark before a Boolean value, it changes it to the opposite one. So if it was a false before, it become true. If it is a true, it will be false. So putting that exclamation mark right before serial dot available means that if you if serial dot available returns false, then that condition that value is inverted to true. I don't know if you get what I mean. I understand. So, so far, serial as available returns false. It's inverted to true. So, as long as the condition inside this bracket is true, the while loop will execute. And as for the while loop, removing the coily bracket and putting this semicolon there, it's the same thing, actually. C recognizes it as almost the same thing, really. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay, thanks, boss. Really appreciate it. Come on, stop this yeah, both okay. of it. Okay, we are just all learning. Yeah, we are all learning. There's nothing like boss, boss. <laughs> yeah, you're my boss now. Uh, no, 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 don't be wild, please. I've learned from you now. Uh, we learn from each other, man. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, this is fine. This reading number from the serial monitor. So the one I put on the group is uh, reading uh, reading uh, string from the serial monitor. Oh, okay. You want to have a go at that? Uh, uh, no, actually, I've not written the code yet. I just type it for you on the on the group. So oh, okay. to you take time. But actually, when I will do, I will do, I will do it the way you do this one too. So I will get back to you if it doesn't work. But I believe it will work. 
Oh, okay, okay. Because you put me through. Thanks, bro. You're welcome, man. Take care. Have a nice time. Yeah. Okay. <laughs>